Black Americans have worked for centuries to close the wealth gap, partially formed by racial discrimination. But even in 2022, some data shows the U.S. gets to grow more unequal. Tonight, CBS 46's Brooks Baptiste has the story of an Atlanta nonprofit working to sustain financial freedom. We never got the memo. Five of seven billion people on this planet never got the memo on free enterprise and capitalism. How do you do it? I hustle, man. I work, I work my tail off. And I... It's a principle John Hope Bryan has lived by since he was a kid in South Central LA working to create a path to build wealth. A banker came in my classroom and taught financial literacy when I was nine years old. Man, I raised my hand. I said, excuse me, sir, what do you do for a living and how'd you get rich legally? He said, I'm a banker and I finance entrepreneurs. So that started on my personal quest to get out of the hood to alive. And when your outflow exceeds your inflow, then your overhead becomes your downfall. Back in the 1990s, Brian says he ran into some hard times. And after being homeless, he knew he didn't want other people to experience his struggles, so he birthed Operation Hope. We're like the Starbucks of financial inclusion. Get you your credit, get your credit score up, get your debt down, get your savings up so we can get you qualified so the bank has to tell you yes for your dreams. For the past 30 years, the nonprofit has worked to disrupt poverty and empower low and moderate income youth and adults through free financial literacy. I believe that other than the right to vote, there's nothing more consequential that changes the quality of your life and your nature of social justice and your ability to be free than financial literacy acted upon in your life. Current data shows the difference in median household incomes between white and black Americans has remained steady for nearly 50 years. And there continues to be about a $30,000 gap between the two. Is that why you're so determined to switch the narrative? Yes. I think there's two to 3% of GDP, gross domestic product locked in our communities waiting to be born. This is my conference room, which I have just now seen. Is my office yeah, back together? Because every, everything is new around yeah. here. So Brian has a goal of birthing one million black businesses in the U.S. by 2030. So the, the vision here is to, to, to really port us into the future in one generation, giving you two hours of free technical assistance to get that infrastructure, that the bones of your business up so you, so you know what you're doing. And hold on, just let me just take a, a visual image of where I'm trying to be one day, okay? With the desire to create an economic infrastructure for African Americans for the first time ever, Bryant is building what he calls future entrepreneurs. Right, it's not only my give back, that's my leave behind. That's the institutional infrastructure that we've never had. An economic infrastructure that demands respect. In Atlanta, Brooks Baptiste, CBS 46 News.